What's up, everybody? My name is Nathaniel Green, a.k.a. King Badojas, and today I'm going to show you how to import and save an OBJ inside Element 3D. Now, as you can see, we're on our desktop right now, and we have our Battle Droid OBJ, and we have the texture, which goes on top of the OBJ. First of all, we want to open up After Effects. Now, what I'm going to try to do is make this video as simple as possible. I'm going to show you step by step what I do, and you can just follow along. And if you do, you'll be successful. Anyway, this is what you do. First of all, we want to go to Composition, New, Composition. Okay. Now we want to go to Layer, New, Solid. Okay. Now we want to go to Effects, Video Copilot, Element. Now and over here, where the finger is pointing, underneath Element, Scene Setup, click on that. That will open up Element 3D. Now let's import our OBJ. So we go to Import, Battle Droid, Import. There you go. Your model is inside Element 3D, but it's not texture. So what we do is right here underneath materials, highlight that, go to import again, go to diff, grab this texture. We're going to drop that right there on top of diffuse. Now, let's close this up. Now, your model is looking good, but we're not finished because we need to save this. So we're going to highlight now the top part, Battle Droid, hit Control in the mouse, save model as preset. Then we go to icons, which this is where I go. You can save your uh, model in any folder you choose to, but I'm going to save mine in icons. Hit OK. Now we should be inside icons folder. Let's check it out to make sure it's official. All right, there it is. See, right here, it's Battle Droid. But right now, and if I close out After Effects and log back onto it, my model will disappear. So the way to keep your model inside Element 3D, to keep it saved, what you want to do is you want to hit control first of all highlight it hit control in the mouse which will open up this show in explorer okay now we want to go to the desktop and grab that obj file and the texture because we want those to be kept safely so we're going to save that inside this folder close it out and bada boom bada bam that's it that's how you import and save an OBJ inside Element 3D inside After Effects. Well, again, my name is Nathaniel Green, a.k.a. King Badojas, and um, I hope this video was helpful. Comment, like, and subscribe. I appreciate all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.